Hey guys, welcome back to Yukio Everything. I'm Pete. I'm Dredge. Continuing our Zexel journey here. This is episode four reaction review. If you've not been by so far, it's a new series here on the channel where we, both of us here, Dredge and I, have never watched Zexel mm -hmm. or Zale, as some people say. Mm -hmm. It's a first time, it's authentic. This is actually the least we always talk about of any of the shows that we, we don't even really know anything. No spoilers, yeah. no nothing. And I think that probably is attributed to this show is not legally uh, subbed anywhere. So yeah, that, sure. So that, that's, that's, yeah. That, that is probably what contributes to that. Uh, Dredge, we're in the middle of a duel here mm -hmm. from episode three. We got fleeced by the <laughs> teacher. Sensei yeah. uh, was actually the computer hacker. He's the one that administered the city virus. Mm -hmm. uh, Yuma is in the middle of a duel with him right now, not listening to Astral. Um, He's already lost once so far in the day. Do you think he makes it two for two, or, or did he get I think some he's kinda he's gonna find thing? a way to come back. He has his numbers yeah. now. Astral's there to at least make him second guess his silly decisions while dueling. So I I do think he gets the win here. I think it's an important win. We got to stop this computer virus from spreading. Um, where we go after this, I don't know. But 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 definitely uh, would like to see him pick up this win here. I think it's important. I think as we start the show early on, anytime numbers are going to be involved, very similar to Brains where anytime Ignis were involved, mm -hmm. we're probably going to see uh, one of our protagonists, one of our heroes win. We did meet uh, Yuma's sister, which I don't think we got her name last week, uh, but we do know he has a sister now, so we at least got to meet her. She's a talented uh, kind of yeah, like, this, this hacker sister. genius yeah. in her own regard. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Guys, we're going to jump into episode four, see how this duel concludes, and without further ado... Here we go. All right, here we go. That's a cool animation. It was, actually. I like the way that looks. Enjoyed that. Right to the heart. Uh, what are you trying to tell you? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, boy. Oh, so it's like nothing happened. Yep, and there goes that. I like that the the running timer is how long we have left in the episode. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Opening just started. You kind of heard Astro needs these numbers, right? So see that character right there in the opening. I I'm pretty sure that's Kaito. I think so. The one think in it that is. white yeah. coat. Mm -hmm. That's the one that everybody talks super highly. Yeah. Looks like, and, and it, it's Kaito and, and Yuma kind of going off. So it looks like that'll be our uh, our main matchup at least. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, knew, I, I I'm actually surprised that uh, Gollum being destroyed didn't also come back on him. As yeah, well. yeah, he told you this. Like, yeah, you can't lose. So, uh, so Yuma can't lose when Astral's with him. Basically, is we're kind of getting that. But also, they're connected. As his life points are near the end, you literally see him fading away. Yeah. Is it the sister? I don't know. Or, or is he just going up to the... Oh, they're going to the gonna, top. We're getting... We're getting yeah, a, he needs uh, to fight them over the city. Right? Oh, boy. God, this is so, it reminds me of such an old-style game. Yeah. 11 minutes. But they're getting, like, front... Bro, don't be scared of heights. And there you go, Pete. I'm telling you, he's, gonna, he's just going to do it right now. You think he'll catch on that Astral did that? Yes. Or is he gonna still yes. Be he's not that. I mean, I, I think it'll, ta it'll take him a minute. But I hope yes. not. I hope he does. If he doesn't, that'd be pretty bad. If he can't even figure it out. This is such a cool thing. This like animation of XZ summoning. Playing what the hell is it? Bro, we got like the hate. It's, it's Machamp out there fighting. Dude, look at these punches. Eight turn, wow! I forget. I forget duels actually yeah. went a little bit of time uh, back in the day. I, I know. I mean, remember we're in our second episode. Okay, so when he suggests it, not demands it, Yuma seems a so lot he, more. So he's yeah, yeah. He seems he doesn't a lot like more he told what to, to do. do. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. he's got an authority complex. Mm, clearly. Xz Shokan. Shokan. Number seventeen. <laughs> That's cool. Now he's got it. <laughs> yep. He figured it out. No, so you were right with that. He ain't that stupid. Oh. Hey, man. He's high stakes round here. Yeah. That worked perfectly. Yep. Good combo. 
Now the attack doesn't switch to defense. It's like uh, when you waste a quick attack in, in pogo battles yeah. so you can get rid of a shield. Easy win now. Didn't even have to them. use the overlay units on Leviathan Dragon either. No, which is nice. Yeah. Basically an OTK. Oh, yeah. You know it took two attacks. It just took a couple turns. Yep. Goodbye. All right. Yuma gets the dub. And there's the dub, baby. So he didn't know 100% certainty. No. He just bet that he would. He just took the numbers card. And now he's going to be all like, what happened? What did I do? I, what new memory does he acquire? Uh, what memory did you get back? Let's see. Okay. Is Named Catwalk. after the world, he, the world that he came from. He has no clue. The numbers took over <laughs> just like they did with Shark. He has no clue. It's kind of like he's being controlled, you know? You get possessed yeah. and then you don't even know. Something from a different world. Yep. Agreed. Oh, yeah. Now, eight seconds. Shit. Uh. Fake? Huh? What did he do? Put the stadium lights on? Wait a minute. <laughs> He, he just put it in the night sky for everyone to look at? I'm so confused. So wait, is it like the the evil behind the numbers made us think that's what it was going to be a bomb? Or... I, I don't know. I'm so confused right now. Okay, so there there is elements to his thinking that yeah, were being said. Yeah, pretty much. And he got redeemed already, warped, technically, right? It was right? warped yeah. by the numbers. Everyone sees Bugman. There you go. All the kids everyone are happy. Everyone loves Bugman. Yeah, we made something nothing happen. Yeah, I kind of like that conclusion. Wow, what a, what a nice thought in episode four. Yeah. Observation <laughs> note. Yep. Hmm. Okay, that's an important note. Definitely. So they twist and warp. Yeah. The greatest desires and bring out darkness in them. Even in that case where his whole dream of perfection and everything was actually just to bring happiness and this like mm. completed light to people where they could see Bugman, the numbers warp that into like a sense of self perfection uh, and wiping out the whole city. So we did get some pretty interesting tidbits there, Dredge. Episode four. Yeah. Uh, what'd you think? That was a good episode, you know. I, I like the way the way that uh, Astro kind of tricked Yuma into doing what Yuma needed to do in the first place. Yeah. Uh, you called that in the beginning of the episode uh, how uh, wasn't gonna listen. Said, "All right, I'll, I'll just I'll reverse psychology, no problem." Um, again, I, I like the animation so far in the show. The music's been good. Um, again, still trying to get used to Yuma in, in the way he is. Um, of course. But anyway, I like the little twist last episode with the with the, the professor being you know evil for a hot second. Now all says like, I'm just trying to you know show you guys Bugman, be all fun, uh, quick redeem, which is a Yu-Gi-Oh thing that we see. But overall, enjoyed the episode. Uh, again, and when we get through these two episode duels, and we get through these duels, we don't know what's happening next, right? Because they're not giving us a lot on oh this is what's no. happening next. So, but overall good. Yeah, I I, I liked it. Like the little message there, they do redeem the teacher, which is good. He seems like. Uh, you know, he's a nice guy. Maybe he'll be a recurring character. I mean, you, you have to take that with a grain of salt in these Yu-Gi-Oh shows. Yeah. I, I, I would say, you know, we, we got some more info there of of what it means. Ash, you know, Astral is from Astral World. Yeah. Um, you know, darkness involved in, in these numbers cards. Yeah, you know, it brings out like that there. part of you, right, kind of thing, which, which so, was interesting. So we had that comment, piece, but which is good to good to remember. Yeah. For sure. so, so we're getting pieces of the story there. I, what, one fascination mm. of just that I'll finally say is like in yeah. these four episodes, I don't know what level mm. to like what degree Kotari will duel if she duels at all. So um, I, I actually I can. But if you want me to tell you, I can tell you. Um, yeah, go for it. Kotari does not duel at all. So there you go. Yeah. So and I kind of had a feeling yeah. With that I think I'm okay she, with that. She's you know, giving it's... me very much Taya vibes. Like yes, it, definitely. It, it, I agree a hundred. And I know Taya duels later and stuff, but like very rarely, it, it's giving me those vibes. Yeah. And I'm fascinated that the two of them stick together, um, a lot. Yeah. Um, like they're like oh, they're like best friends kind of for sure. Best friends. Definitely tell. And I think that's a very different dynamic than I can remember in any of these Yu-Gi-Oh shows where. 
we have a girl that just doesn't really duel. Yeah, I mean, Te Taya barely does, but I know what you mean. Yeah. This, is, this is somebody who doesn't do it. But all. you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it, it's the four of them, right? They're the group. Absolutely I feel right. like, it, for the most part, they really just focus on the two of them at yeah. the moment. Like, they're, they're very much together. You know, I don't get any, like, romantic No, vibe. not really. More, if anything, I, I would think it's more I Kotsuri like that toward, bond that they Yeah, have. more Kotsuri towards Yuma, if anything. But I, I think they're just yeah. really good friends. They've grown up together. Um, they, they want the best for each other in a sense. So, um, yeah, but it'll be interesting I think to that's, see. That's a that's a cool vibe. Yeah. And, and an interesting character dynamic that mm -hmm. I want to see play out. Definitely uh, for the show. But guys, yeah, that's episode four awesome. of Azex. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Let's know down below. Stay tuned to the channel, podcast, like videos, check all that. All that good stuff. Content. Yeah. You we gotta get really notifications when these it. come up. You gotta, you gotta stay up to date with us. Of course. On the journey. Yeah. We don't know. Um, how Dill is rolling is out or what the schedule is going to be like. But once you see some of these other uh, beginning episodes, I'm sure he'll, he'll kind of get on a pace of yeah, when these come out. Of course. Of course. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We have a lot of fun, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. And Dredge, you ready? Yep. And I hope you have an amazing day. day. All right, we're going to get it down. We're going to eventually. It may, it may take episode 100. Eventually. Good night, guys. Good night.